Welcome on to the Nerd Nook. I'm your host, MT, with, like always, is Noah Bailey. So, it's the end of another year, and just Ooh. like last year, I thought it would be fun to go over both of our top ten favorite comic book projects of the year. Now, small disclaimer. Noah has not seen the new Aquaman yet, and neither of us have seen the uh, the new What If show that just, or has finished the What If show that just, it's like, just came out. It's still going on. That's like, I think, three more? Yes. Yeah. So, but yeah. I, I just have a feeling those aren't going to crack the top ten anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, What If's been pretty good so far. It's solid, but solid. Yeah, it's I, not. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. done, so it's not really fair. Yeah, but... If it does, we'll discuss. We'll discuss that later. But at least I, I feel pretty confident with my list right now. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, do you, but do you want to go and, go and uh, get started with your number ten? Yeah, I can start. So my number ten, I had Harley Quinn season four. Mm-hmm. I, I had that, my saw... number my number eleven. So we're, we're yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I don't know if you saw. Yeah, you saw. But yeah, I thought it's still really good. It's still funny. It's still doing more things. I will say it does feel like they're kind of running out of ideas, but at the same time, yeah, it doesn't really seem like it. Never really was like a show with like direction. They were mm-hmm. kind of just going for it and just throwing random characters because why not? <clears throat> so I mean. It's yeah. still funny. It's entertaining. It's, it's one of those <laughs> yeah. things where, like, for, I'll say, 80% of the runtime of the season, I wasn't as into it as I was hoping I would be. I really mm-hmm. like season two and three a lot. Um, yeah. And just, I wasn't clicking with this season that much. Uh, I didn't really like Harley's interaction with the Bat family as much as I thought I would. It just feels weird. Yeah, her relationship with Ivy was weirdly strained in a way I was wasn't hoping the show would go. Like it wouldn't like break or anything, but like they mm-hmm. weren't together a lot of the time. Um, I don't know. It's, I wasn't loving it, but then the last two episodes really got me. So mm-hmm. that that it, it ended really strong, and like that almost put it to number ten for me. But but yeah, overall I I enjoyed it. But yeah, the it was a little rough getting to the end. Did you kind of feel that same way? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those shows that, like, I wasn't watching it as it came out. I kind of just benched it one time when it was over, and I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, let's just go through it. And, like, yeah, like, halfway through, I was kind of like, oh, man, this is, you know, it's not painful, but it's, like, it's, it. you know how when you're watching something and you, like, you're kind of finishing it out of obligation more than just mm. because... It kind of felt like that for a while, but like you said, it kind of picks up at the yeah. end, so it was worth it. I'm glad I watched it all, but it was yeah. still like, ooh. I really liked the episode with, with Bane with talking to that one lady. Everything with like, Bane is great. Like, what, what was that? But I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't get over the voice, dude. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Like, it's just, what did it say? Like, uh, I'm just like, <laughs> Dude, I, just, I just i can't it's it's too funny like the jokes are very funny like a lot of the jokes are in your face funny but like they're just kind of like some of them miss but a lot of them you're just like oh my God. yeah and like i don't know and apparently kite man's getting a show now yeah so we'll see how that goes. i'm excited to see how that goes that could be interesting because mm-hmm. kite yeah. man was one of my favorite characters mm-hmm. yeah so i now that season's Assuming a season five will happen, assuming that yeah. won't, that probably won't have her with the Bat family as much. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna have uh, they're 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 red hooding Dick Grayson, which should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that was a whole thing. That was so weird. But I don't know. Like... Yeah, I really don't know why they killed they killed him, but yeah, and like just to, I I don't know. It all... <laughs> it's just. It was so weird, <laughs> but it's like again they're doing their own thing. It doesn't really matter. They're yeah. kind of doing the typical like, yeah, we'll just kind of figure it out. It's <clears throat> it's like we'll, we'll make it funny. It's yeah, fine. yeah. Like this is this feels like the kind of show where yeah, Killing Joke can just happen and it doesn't feel out of place. Or it doesn't like feel rushed because that's not what the show is about <laughs> right it's like the b plot you know what i yeah. mean so it doesn't really matter but that's just kind of the vibe the show gives it was not like oh like like why they waste that or like that felt you know but but no that's just 
what the show is. So I'd, I'd probably well, yeah, because it's not it's not like a I mean it's a narrative based show, but it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's much more. It's much closer to like a. I wonder mm-hmm. what's going. It's it's more episodic chaos than like, oh man, how are this all going to come together? Exactly. So yeah, my number ten was the first season of My Adventures with Superman. Really? Okay. What you think is too low? I mean, personally, I liked it a little more. Okay. But I mean, I mean, I also had just more. There, there's. It'll make sense later. But yeah. Yeah, that's I, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. For for the record, like the things in the first half of my list are very close together, and then there's mm-hmm. like a decent gap, and then like, that's fair. But that's fair. It's still like it's. It was really close, but it was really like tough to take to, to pick. Uh, my my bottom three or four. Um, that's fair. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed my mention with Superman. I really like this Superman a lot. <laughs> right? It's actually Superman and yeah. not like some weird uh, misunderstood clone of him or something. Yes. Like he, the fact that like you're watching him like as he's developing his, his powers and one of the, my, my most favorite scenes from this series was Lois was out to get shot by something, and he like jumped in front, and he and she was like, "Did you know you were bulletproof?" He was like, "No, but I knew you weren't." That's Superman. <laughs> like oh, one oh, line, like so that's good. what I'm saying. Like that one scene is more Superman than anything that the Zack Snyder <laughs> Superman has ever done, and that's why I'm just like, <clears throat> like. Superman's such an easy character to do. So when it's done right, but it's never done right these days. So when it's done right, it's like, thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Like, not every single adaptation of, of like, every adaptation they do of whatever character works flawlessly. But I really like the way they go with most of them. Like, I really, really like they throw Deathstroke in there. Uh, yeah. Uh, what they did with the... Uh, with, uh, Banshee, heat, uh, heat, heat wave, uh, live wire, like giving them, having them, you like have like tech powers. I'm, I'm fine with that. It mm-hmm. works. I'm not yeah. exactly sure how I feel about this Lex Luthor, like him being a lackey to a Mezo was a weird, yeah, choice. We'll see how he kind of develops it on his own. That's kind of my thing. I'm like. Is he just gonna kind of take the company and make it LexCorp from there? Probably like, yes. going into season two is probably fine. Probably, but we'll we'll see exactly how he does it. But definitely not how I would have done Lex Luthor. But it's yeah. adaptation. It's whatever. I yeah, do, I do really appreciate them kind of fusing Amazo and Parasite together because their powers are have always been pretty similar. So you might as well, uh, yeah, use them. Yeah, it's like same concept, just acquired differently. Amazo's just better power parasite because he really doesn't is. have to actually touch you. Yeah, and he doesn't get rid of it after a certain time. Right, he's just yeah. like yeah, he's just the he's just the better version pretty much. So yeah, it might it's basically the same yeah. thing. It's still wild how they got together, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love how they incorporate Amanda Waller. Mm. Into all this, uh, obviously, uh, Captain Stacy, no, Captain Stacy, that's her, uh, <laughs> Commander, uh, uh, sorry, General Lane, right? General, yeah, sorry. yeah, so no, you're, you're right, you're... Much. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, it's funny because you're wrong, but you're kind of right, you know, <laughs> like, if they're like ex- exact the same concept, just wrong universe, uh-huh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I will say at the very, very end, you know, they teased, you know, real Brainiac and General Zod. Mm -hmm. And their designs look very similar. (laughs) Like, they're both just look like, like, wide headed robots. That was a little weird. Like, I kind of wish Brainiac had a little more distinct look to him. Um, but but we'll, we'll we'll get more of them in future seasons, so that's not really mm-hmm. a problem right now. We'll probably have better budget. The troop. <laughs> troop. Um but yeah, the the action sequences were, were all I thought very, very good. I really like the the main trios uh 
dynamic a lot, especially Jimmy Olsen. I really liked this Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy's great. Mm. Yeah, not not a lot to complain about for me. Like some people might not like how they adapt to certain characters. Uh, they might not like how certain characters react certain ways to certain things. I thought it was overall pretty solid. So mm. yeah. Solid. Yeah, that makes sense. Your turn. All right. My number nine, I have The Marvels. Same. So, oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, again, this movie was better than what I expected. Not amazing. But I enjoyed watching it. Again, like, I know we just reviewed it not too long ago, but it's like, you know, solid movie. Not everything was awesome, but I really liked certain character interaction. You know, everything. Kamala was great. Oh, yeah. And... The family, per usual, was hilarious. So yes. that works for me. I did a really good job. The action was actually pretty solid for the most part. There were some mm-hmm. scenes that were a little, eh, but you know, the action's pretty good. Captain Marvel actually looked pretty powerful, which is actually solid. Yeah, and it seemed like most. They did, I think they did a decent mm-hmm. job of making the issue not just I'm randomly stronger than this super strong person. It's more I uh, there's something else making it harder to win. Which yeah. Yeah, with the super powered character, it feels like they don't really do anymore. They just do, I'm you, but slightly stronger. And mm-hmm. it's like, why? So I think they did a better job with that. Um, like we discussed, the villain, very forgettable, very right. one note, very K. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> villain could have, I mean, you pretty much could have just dressed, you pretty much could have put a puppet with the evil mustache on and just went for it. I mean, honestly, same mm-hmm. effect, basically. But. You know, otherwise, it was pretty good. I, it kind of, I know it was like kind of like, oh, Young Avengers is happening. And like, I did kind of feel like, okay, that felt out of nowhere, but fine. I mean, at least that little thing kind of there like, fell a little out of nowhere, but like, yeah, whatever, fine, I mean, sure. But like, yeah, like, 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 we knew what's coming. But yeah, like, they've been building to it, but it did seem like it just happened in like, this movie with a weird. Right. Movie. Like, yeah, it was just kind of like, I feel like that would have made more <laughs> sense even at the end of like, I don't know, like the end of Miss Marvel before the end of this movie, just because, like, I know that ending was part of this movie, but you yeah. know, details. Yeah. But, Which kind of didn't really, timeline wise, doesn't really make a lot of sense now that you think about it. Because I'm like, wasn't that like months later? Why'd they, I don't know, but yeah. It's good enough. It makes enough sense. Yeah. It makes enough sense. Yeah. It's making enough sense. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I don't really understand the, the the general hate for this movie. I thought it was overall pretty inoffensive. Like, there's not. I didn't really think there's a lot to complain about. Like, there's stuff to not like for sure. Like I said, the villain isn't great. Like, uh, yeah. But like the character dynamics, the characters in general, like all the set pieces, I thought were pretty solid. So I. I, I, it was a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mo- it was a movie that I went to and didn't regret going to, basically. Exactly. So you know, and that's one of those things where it's just kind of like, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. The movie, like, it was enjoy. It made me like. It made me like Captain Marvel more than I did previously, mm-hmm. which is good. Yes, and I feel absolutely. Like it the movie. Yeah. And now, yeah, that's kind of the goal. And then we'll see what this whole alternate x-men universe they how they're gonna yeah. so make that work i know there's a lot going on behind you know behind the scenes with general moral planning at the moment so mm-hmm. we'll see how that goes but yeah things could go well we'll see absolutely so that was also my number nine what is your number eight okay so now my number eight i thought about this one for a while and it kind of i was I was this one in the Marvels. I was like back and forth with a lot, but I have Ant Man three because even though I don't love it, it's still and I know it's one of those things where it's like looking back later, this movie is going to be essentially pointless because yes, of all absolutely, reasons, which is <laughs> technically unfair because I mean, but you know, I mean, I feel like but, even now, yeah. like even if you know. Two weeks ago, we didn't know that that right. you know, that was happening. I still feel like having Kang lose badly at the end of that movie did not set a good precedent for stuff going Agreed. forward. 
Agreed. And I realize that. But I guess my thing with it is like, so here's my okay, so here's my thing with it. Then. So the for me, the idea of this Kang losing kind of brings forth, okay, well now it's just chaos and it's just gonna be the Kang's art that are just gonna be like, oh, he's not that big of a deal, and then they get molly whopped or something. Like that was kind uh-huh. of the idea that I was like I guess expecting going forward, and obviously. Loki kind of was misdirected with that, but it's still like, okay, well, that's going to happen at some because he's going to be the big villain. So maybe it's kind of like a misdirection. I know that they didn't really do it well. And yeah. again, I know it's not that great of a movie. And like, even the more I talk about it, I kind of disagree with my original choice. <laughs> but it's still like, <sighs> I, I did like. Yeah, I do I think it's... that that Kang in that movie was a really strong villain up yeah. until lost. Up yes. Until the very end. Yeah. Like I re like I rewatched some of the like the, the whole like capture interrogation scene mm-hmm. is great villain work. I yes. mean, just the like at no point is he like worried. At no point is he he's like, all right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna help me, or she's gonna die. So. What are we going to do? Like, you know, he's just like, like very like no nonsense villain work, which mm-hmm. feels that, you know, cause like every villain nowadays feels very, like I said earlier, like mustache twisty, annoying, like not really there. And then of course mm-hmm. the other help because he kind of feels like that. But at the same time, yeah. for the most part, Kang's a great villain in this idea. And even the idea of him is like, you know, you can tell everyone, his name is barely mentioned and everyone's freaking out. Yeah, so I do. Of, like, I do kind of wish that the movie did the thing they teased from the trailer where like every time they showed Kang is associated with something on the lines of like, I can give you more time and like smash cut to him, to Ant-Man and his daughter. It's like, I can give you more time with your daughter is what it's implying. And that's never, never mm-hmm. comes up. That never is a factor. <laughs> like that's actually pretty cool. Like you, Ant-Man doesn't know if he even has that power, but he knows he wants to, you know, spend more time with his daughter mm-hmm. during those five years. Like, yeah, he did lose her. like I feel that's a more powerful motiv- motivator than just be like, "You help me, or I'll kill her." Like, that's every villain. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it's also like, if I'm a villain <laughs> and I don't have time for foolishness, that's how I would do it. I mean, because it's just no, like, yeah. look, every minute we waste here, I'm not getting what I want. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna give me what I want, or she's gonna t- like mm-hmm. again. Not that I'm an evil person, but if I want, that's how I would do it. So it's like yeah. efficiency. Like mm-hmm. I don't know, and I feel like that kind of feeds into it because I feel like that's something like a Lex Luthor or like a Doctor Doom, like a very calculated villain right. would just do. Like you wouldn't play it. Like even something like a like a Gus Sprague or something like that. Like you oh, know, yeah. we're not doing this whole complicated thing. We're yeah. like. No, nah, you're gonna work for me, or else. Yeah, like that's pretty much it. There's no other. There's no third option. Mm-hmm. But eh, all that to yeah. say, eh, could have been way better. Could have been worse. Could could have better. been a lot worse. Exactly. But I still think, like, I went into this movie being like, oh, I hope it's at least as good as Ant Man Two. The movie's fine. I kind of like it less. I think. <laughs> The name and two. I think so. I mean, two just kind of boring. This movie is like kind of hard to look at. <laughs> I mean, they're both boring, to be fair. But just the green screen effects of this movie are not. No, oh, they're not great. <laughs> yeah, and like the scenes that you felt like they, you could tell they spent a lot of money on. You're kind of like, eh, yeah. that probably like that whole like infinite Ant Man thing scene did not look as cool as. And that might be Maybe one of my favorite scenes of the movie, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't look great. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it's a cool concept, but it doesn't look as cool as like I would think it would. If that makes sense. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I guess it's a good scene though. Mm. All right, my number eight is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. Mm. I never actually saw that somehow. It's I'm so terrible. Really good. I'm not gonna like spoil it too much. I think it's on Amazon or it's on somewhere. I think that you have. Yeah, I think it is. Or you could get it somehow. Um, <laughs> I, I recommend watching this movie legally because it's if you can because it's 
It's really good. <laughs> Just say it you are now. <laughs> oh, it's on Paramount, so. Do you, do you have that? We'll, oh, wow. we'll see. <laughs> we'll, oh, see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I, might, know, I might get a trial for it. Like, even if you don't really like the turtles, that's fine. Like, like y'all. The turtles. The, you, uh, the they they under they explain their backstory. It's like you know, it, this is your first turtles thing. It's a very good turtles thing to to watch. Um, yeah. like the art style, phenomenal. Like people who say, oh, it's the clone of of Into the Spider Verse. It's not really true. It does have. It's like it was only made because Spider Verse exists, but it clearly yeah. does have its own style going for it. The music throughout the movie is very very good. Uh, the just the characterization of the of the turtles like they actually feel like teenagers, which is not something that happens a lot with the turtles. Like usually, Mikey he Mikey is like the like, feel, feels the youngest and like you know he's like the party animal. He you know but whatever. Yeah. But like the others, they don't really feel like teenagers. Yeah, these, these people do. Like they they can get serious, but they yeah like admittedly kind of dated references and like weird dances and just just you know talking like teenagers do um to the point where you know give it five years you watch this movie it's like you won't be able to basically understand what they're saying half the time but that's that's teenagers these days <laughs> yeah um and every action scene is amazing like one of my favorite scenes of the entire year is the scene where the turtles are are trying to to get information about the the main villain, and they're they're gonna do this by hitting up I think four different like crime family organizations, and it's cut in this really cool way where like it shows the the front door of each of these buildings like it's like one of them kicks open and like the turtles are standing there smash cut to another door where it's like another orientation of the turtles against like one's Leo's in front, one's Raph's in front, all four. And then like they start fighting and like, as they're fighting, they're like going the long ways across this room. They're like fighting goons and it like cuts to another area. Like another person is fighting and like cuts to, and like, I don't know how they do it, but it's so seamless. Like with like, Donatelli will swing his 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 staff and like go across the camera and then rafts in front. It's, oh, it's so good! <laughs> I gotta see this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like it's just a very very good movie. Um, it has a little bit of like gross out humor a couple of times throughout it, but like just a couple of scenes. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a very very solid movie. Like it wasn't even on my radar at all going into this year, but I I'm glad I saw it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this was in theaters. What I remember <clears throat> it was in theaters, and I was like, oh, I gotta see that. And I was like, I think waiting for my friend to see it, and then I never did. And that's when I decided I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start going to the movies with myself when I need to. <laughs> It's actually fun. Yeah. I forgot what movie I saw by myself. I think I saw Spider Verse again by myself <laughs> one time, just because, and it was like, "Yeah, I'm so glad I did that." <laughs> it yeah. was great. <laughs> yeah, at some point I, I highly recommend you watch it. Yeah, I probably will be watching it probably in the next like couple of weeks now. Good, very good. Okay, you're number seven. Okay, now we're getting to the better stuff. Okay, now nine, number seven, I have Blue Beetle. Same. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Blue Beetle was really fun. Really good, yeah. <laughs> really fun. Like, again, like, it's the premise. It's <laughs> simple. It's a movie where if you know nothing about Blue Beetle, that is okay because we are just going. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. The characters are both realistic. Well, the main characters are realistic and likable. Mm -hmm. You know, they're for you know the family dynamics are really funny. The humor is pretty solid. The action scene is way better than it needs to be. Oh yeah, <laughs> like it looks great. A lot of the fight scenes look really cool. The suit looks great. 
it has no business looking as good as it does. It looks better than the majority of suits I've seen for like every movie this year almost. It's pretty in- ridiculous. Yep. But yeah, you know, and I I have said it before, but I really like how the stakes are not universal. Like if they lose, yeah, the government or whoever will have this army of evil robots, but like they're not going to they're not mere minutes away from the world blowing up or or whatever. Like it's not that level. It's just right. we need to stop this evil evil company from being evil. <laughs> right. That I like I, I feel like more movies should have that level of stakes. And I I appreciate and it was also because the stakes weren't that high, you focus more on the you know, the family dynamic of it, which again the family was amazing. Mm-hmm. And and you know, if if they lost you know, they would they would lose their house, they would lose their neighborhood, but because they, right. won, they won, they were able to, to get all that back and it, just, it felt right. It felt really nice. Yeah, and like you said, because the stakes were small in this one, mm-hmm. it feels like it leads into okay, now the next one can have a little bit bigger stake. You know what I mean? It yeah. doesn't have to be the fate of the universe every single time. Like, yeah. Like if this if this villain were were the black scarab or like some alien invasion or something like that. I don't know. I couldn't, I don't think I could deal with another alien invasion superhero movie at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Got a few of those going on already. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, like compared to something like Shazam where it's like, Oh, if we, if we, if we lose the world, will be run over by monsters, I guess. Cause it's a, I, I guess but like <laughs> you care less because like eh. Let me let me put it this way. Uh walking out of Aquaman, my like number one complaint was the fact that if the heroes lose or like like throughout the throughout the movie it cut it keeps cutting to these um these like broadcasts to like news news broadcasts of people talking about the fact that like the water level is rising like bigger 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 waves like the atmosphere is getting hotter and stuff is like and i was never worried because oh aquaman's gonna fix that like i i don't I, i'm not i don't care because i know if by the end of the movie aquaman is gonna find some way to fix that right because and, like yeah. <laughs> there's no version of this movie that ends with the world dying yes exactly like but weirdly, when the stakes are a lot smaller, I feel like they could. There's a chance that, like, if they don't want a hundred percent complete the goal, it's not as big of a deal. So the movie could allow it to happen. Right. Yeah. Right. Because that, I mean, because again, this movie very easily could have ended with, yeah, the bad guys won, or like it's like a half and half bad guys like you know he gets to you know he escapes with the scare but they blow up you know part of the neighborhood or something or you know what i mean like it very much is still possible exactly and i feel that's a much stronger motivator for the audience to be invested over yeah most most there's a lot of superhero movies these days right i I really like that Right, and again, with a hero that most people have never heard of, it's mm. pretty good to start with something smaller than just, yep, we're saving the world. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, I really hope if there's, if, you know, when James Gunn make, starts making his DC universe, if more DC movies are like this, I very much approve of that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think you definitely should, because, mm. like, Especially, like, building it up, because I feel like you could have, like, a Green Lantern movie where, like, another planet's at stake. That doesn't have to necessarily be safe for, like, the world to exist. Or, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's just a central city problem, not a United States problem or something. Like, yeah, definitely build things up to later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, number six. Okay, now my number six is my adventures with Superman. I like this show a lot because, first of all, I love Superman, Mm. as everyone knows. But, like, again, like I said earlier, we, it's been so long since Superman has been done right in some kind of like visual media. Like, outside of comic books lately, Superman has been everything but 
well, Superman. And it's been weird because for mm-hmm. 10 plus years, it's been, oh, what if Superman was edgy or evil or didn't care about people or pretended he was a god? It's like, what if Superman was just a guy from a small town who wants to save people? Like, that's all we need. Like, mm-hmm. And I think this show embodied that so well. Because, like, the show, like, the thing I like about the show is we don't even really get any Superman stuff for, like, a while. Like, it's mostly Clark stuff, which I yeah. appreciate. I feel like Clark Kent is such a underrated character because everyone's like oh when's it gonna be superman but like him just being clark is awesome like where he's meeting lois and like everyone's like oh clark's so great he helps Mm -hmm. with this and he does that and then he's i'm like yeah that sounds about right and like i love the scene where he's like i need to know superman's secrets and he's like maybe he's just a guy who wants to help people she's like (laughs) okay if you had powers that's what you would do but we're talking about superman we're not talking about you it's just like that's like perfect you know what i mean mm-hmm. like that's that's ideal and i just i love the character interactions like jimmy lois and clark are just this great little combo they feel very much like <laughs> interns which works in this context they're very relatable they're very funny jimmy knowing he was superman the whole time is the most like obvious but still really funny when he said it out loud thing yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it's <laughs> it's so satisfying because the show like didn't have to be smart but it it's like, yeah, let's not be dumb. Because again, even she, you know, Lois figures it out pretty quickly. Because like, you know, again, Clark's not really good at hiding that he's Superman. Let's be honest. Yeah, and, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, it's kind of funny because like some of the stuff you're just kind of like, they, they saw that right, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you kind of just like they just pretend they don't. And whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, it was really cool. Oh god, there were there is one kind of major thing I didn't agree with the show doing. I okay. really didn't like how they introduced Kryptonite by way of Mr. Mick Spitalik giving it to Lois. Like, it's not even from his Krypton, it's from this other yeah. dimension. Like, that whole episode Which, with, with Mr. Mix was not my favorite. It felt that a was, little... It felt yeah. random. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think Lois needed to... I don't... I don't really know what purpose it served to have Lois see these other dimensions where Superman's evil. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't think that didn't really seem to serve the plot that that no. well. Kryptonite could have been introduced in a much more organic way. Like, you know, yeah. like it always like like Luther just finds it or, or you know somehow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was, or like. The- I mean, there could have been a lot. Like, it could part of it could have been on a spaceship still or something. Yeah. So when they get in the field, it's already there or something. Or like, I also thought it was like it's weird that Kryptonite just wasn't with all. He had all this Kryp- Kryptonian stuff on Earth enough mm-hmm. for like a whole legion of technology, and then it's like no Kryptonite anywhere. Like really, and yeah. also like I don't think you had to, like the whole like <clears throat> plot literal plot device of the little like machine where it has evil supermans was totally unnecessary because i feel like yeah. if lois had just talked to her dad he would have served the same purpose basically yeah where it's like, you know yeah. what i mean because it's like no clark would never do that well what i saw mm-hmm. happened and uh, and then you know especially if he had like evidence like he could just have a recording that pretty much showed the same thing and it's like yeah we didn't need this whole extra plot device thing but also, the like and like yeah, and the whole like multiverse thing feels like it's been done to death in every universe. And I know it's a comic book movie, but uh, yeah, that whole episode just kind of felt unnecessary. I mean, there were some good fan service moments, but yeah. like yeah, for the most part, it was like, yeah, do we really need to do this? But eh. yeah, but, but no. But other than oh, that, no, I, I did it. really like pretty oh, much everything yeah, else no. about it. I like I was I looked I so looked forward to all my friends watching this show. It was great. I mean, I was. I got excited. I was like, yep, it's Friday. You know what that means? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like, yeah, no, really good show. Really big fan. Excited for the next season, whatever it may come out. And yeah, mm-hmm. just nice to see good Superman stuff. And like, you know, and they had the thing where like, oh, Lois figures it out. And it's like, oh, she figured it out. She's mad. Why is she mad? And then like five seconds later, well, I'm mad because this. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it's not Amber. Oh, it's okay. Like, it's she's yeah. fine. Female characters <laughs> can be likable. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Like, but yeah, all that to say, 
I really liked it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, number six. My number six is The Boys Present Gen V. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, know you, you haven't really seen much this. boys no. stuff, but Gen V is a very, very good entry in this universe. Um, it It's so interesting watching this show because the entire synopsis of the boys is you're, you're following this group of, you know, most of them are just humans who are trying to take down this, you know, all these other superheroes. So the entire time outside of a select few, you're rooting unambiguously for the heroes to take down the supers. However, in Gen V, every character you're following is a superhero. Like they at least have powers are going to this mm-hmm. college that theoretically would, you know, help them be better superheroes. Um, and like their main adversaries are humans. So so when the climax happens, and do you do you care about spoilers at all for Oh do I am so I don't even know what the context for okay. any of okay. this stuff. <laughs> so in, in the climax, like a couple of superheroes go rogue, one of them being the one of the ones who got radicalized, who was a part of the group. Like they're they're going all across campus just kinda indiscriminately killing you know, killing random like teachers and other people who are in their way or whatever, who they deem who they deem bad. Like they're killing random people, but you're kind of but you're you're still kind of trained to root in this move in this show root for the supers. But it's like I feel weird because usually I'd be rooting for <laughs> the people against them. And it was just it was very cool how within eight episodes they're able to completely rework my brain Ooh. to like to. To, you know, to, to to view supers completely different, but then at the very end, have Homelander show up and just be evil again. Like, oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, like every single character, I really, really liked. I thought the writing was was so strong, like some of the strongest character writing of any like like superhero show that came out this year. Um, the the way people use their powers were very 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 good I thought yeah just, just overall very solid like just very very good superhero show if you can get over a bunch of blood gore and sex and a bunch of you know like more adult themes and stuff if you can get over that it's a very very good show no I've heard very good things about it and it's probably something I would enjoy I just mm. I. I don't know, something about live act, like, I can watch anime where people get ripped in half in every episode, you know uh, what I mean, we're watching Jutsu Kaisen right now, people getting ripped yep. in half every other day, you know, freaking terrible things, and it's yep. like, here, but the, for some reason, when it's live action, it just messes with me more, I don't know why. I understand, so. yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's not for everybody, but if you can watch it, I, I would recommend it, but yeah, it's, I don't understand if it's not for you, but it's is a very very good good show. Yeah, no, it's objectively good stuff whether or not I've seen it or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, top 5. Top 5. Okay. Mm-hmm. This one's a little mm-hmm. interesting because it doesn't 100% apply, but I put Spider-Man 2 PS5 on number 5 because mm-hmm. even though I don't have a PS5 and I haven't really played this game other than a couple of minutes, I guess my friend has it. Yeah. I watched pretty much this whole game on YouTube because that's what people do when you don't have the game. So, uh, <laughs> and after hours of watching, dude, this game's awesome. I don't like it's it's great. The like the webbing swinging is improved. The switching between it's almost like you know it's like almost Grand Theft Auto how you can switch between characters mm-hmm. all the time. There's a lot. They're great mechanics. The suits are awesome. There's options. There's different customizations of the suits. Obviously, we got the symbiote stuff. That's super cool. Mm-hmm. Like, they, aim, they vastly improved the Mary Jane missions, which was my number one problem with the original game. Good. So those are Very like, good. have you seen them now? Do you know what they're like now? She has a gun? Right? Yeah. 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 She has like a taser gun thing and it's not really a stealth mission anymore as it's more of like a it's like it's kind of like the stealth combat in the game it's like optional stealth it's Mm -hmm. like 
be stealthy or just go for it. And right. like, you know, <laughs> like most people, you just go for it because why not? Uh, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense like thematically, but it's fun, so it's whatever. <laughs> But yeah, the story and the story for the game is really good. The dynamic between Peter and Harry's great. Do you, do you know the story at all? Do you know anything? I, I yeah, I I, can, so I know more or less what happens in it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty great, dude. <clears throat> Venom was crazy. <clears throat> like you knew it was coming the whole way, and when it showed up, you were like, oh. <laughs> Oh, he's big. <laughs> like he's, he's he is huge. so cool. You don't even care that he literally walks through a, a pillar of fire at one point. No, he, like yeah, no, like, so cool that is like yeah, that was something at first because I was like, oh man, there's so much fire. He's not gonna eat fire like it's yeah. nothing, and it's just like okay, that's like not... <laughs> that's not accurate. But I mean, hey, I'm not. I mean, neither is Harry being Venom really. So who am I to talk? Yeah. So whatever. So yeah, it's. He only has the one weakness in this game, but I mean, it's it's, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Do you but, feel yeah, no, like matter. do you do you feel like they rushed the symbiote story? Considering it's like a twenty-hour campaign, and it has to go through, I guess one and a half because it starts with Harry, then goes to Peter, and goes back mm -hmm. to Harry. Like, do you feel like Peter has it long enough for it to be effective? I mean, in terms of like watching it like it's a long movie kind of not but i feel like in terms of the best you could do with one game yes because hmm. i okay. mean the story is not gonna be like this is not one of those 100 hour story games like we're not doing that like right this is a 25 hour you know if you're doing side quests maybe 35 like kind of thing so mm -hmm. it's like yeah i think it was enough time because basically you get it pretty you know you get it pretty early on hmm. it's great you know he's got it He's for a while, he kind of becomes a hero. Then you get it, you've got it for a while, and then you kind of slowly descend into, you know, the bully Lowenthal, I think is what they're calling it now, uh, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, and then that's fine. And then for a while, then Harry gets it back. And then by the time Venom shows up, it's like, you know, all hell's broken loose. So it's cool. So it's fine. But yeah, yeah I think there's enough time, especially how they kind of. You kind of get the anti venom suit soon after too, so it kind of works fine. Hmm. Also, it just it works really well. I will say, it did kind of feel like Miles was kind of just there a lot of the time. In yeah, this. that's something I was kind of thinking because the entire like the plot of this story is focusing on Venom, but also Craven is around. Also, you're yes. doing Miles stuff on top of any other villain that's also going to be in this game, like. Yeah, that feels like, like a lot they need to juggle to also be doing the symbiote stuff. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the mile stuff was fine at first because Craven was basically freeing and killing villains, and Martin Lee was one of those villains. And obviously, Miles has beef with Martin Lee because the whole last game thing. So, like, it kind of kept him in the story up until the whole thing with Lee, and then by that point, it kind of felt like more because then you. But then you also have. The really good, like that, like fight scene between Peter Miles is epic. So, like, mm. that's a really big scene. But then after that, kind of feels like Miles is kind of just also there. But still, like, not enough that it works, and the game still works really well because I know there's certain side quests that only individual Spider Men can do, which is also really cool. Mm -hmm. And some of the side quests are awesome, by the way. I don't know if you've seen a lot of them, but dude. Yeah, some of them are great. Like it's really a lot of tea stuff from the last game, and like just cool. There's a Spider Verse thing. There's a whole thing. It's crazy, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's awesome. The game's awesome. The swing somehow better. The web wings are really cool. Like it's, I don't know. Using the web wings feels weirder than I thought it would, but it's so cool. But like, uh, it just works well. And like, we're good. <laughs> the city's bigger. Being able to go to like the suburbs of Queens is really cool, even though swinging's hard. But... <laughs> Fuzzy. Thank you. But yeah, great game overall. Just pretty much one of those games that you pretty much got more or less exactly what we all expected. And we were like, awesome. Thanks. Very good. Very good. <laughs>
And then it won no awards because, you know, Baldur's Gate 3. But still. <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't going to. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I know, but, you know, like, it's Whatever it's one of those to. things where it's like, you're great. Don't take that away from you. You're just not. The kingdom's a little better, though. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. Like, again, it is. But, like, is that fair, to be no, fair? It like, you know what I mean? It's like, you can't just be like, hey, man, you're great. But, like, you know, that's Michael Jordan. Or, you know, like, oh, you're great. But, like. Well, you know, you didn't invent, you know, you didn't do something. You didn't, you got an A, but you also have, you know, a genius in your class. So, like, you, you kind of got an A. You, yeah. you, normally, you'd be the valedictorian, but there's also a robot in your third mm -hmm. period. So, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. But yeah, great game overall. Mm -hmm. I, at some point, will buy it because at some point, I'm going to get a PS5, probably. Yeah. At, at some point. Right, <laughs> Wolverine, I mean, maybe. We'll I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I don't know. Like at this rate, I mean, games are so good. I don't know. Yeah. Like, eh. yeah, okay, okay. Night number five is Loki. Hmm. Yeah, it's we've talked about it at length already, but it's it's very good. It's one of the strongest endings of an MCU project. It was um, really Yeah, I, I really liked all the characters. It was a little. It was a little rough getting to the end. Like, I didn't agree with everything that was happening. It was a little confusing, like, getting there. But the last two episodes were so strong, I, I didn't care. It was very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. And it's like, it worries you because for a while you were like, oh, man, some of these shows have kind of been... Yeah, hit her, you know, because the whole secret mm. invasion thing and some of the other things are kind of like, oh man, I hope these Marvel shows are gonna be okay. And Loki's like, the first episode, of Loki, you're like, oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah. Like, we're, yeah, we're back. We're back. We're, we're, back. we're, good. <laughs> we're back. We're back. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Like, again, kind of like the really just the cool overarching villain thing. Like, in the first episode, I think they say his name like what, maybe like twice. Mm -hmm. And yet you feel all of the presence of he who remains like the whole way like you just like you're oh, yeah. like this is crazy this is intense i really like the new characters they added which was really cool because obi is awesome oh yeah yeah i i do really wish that they did more with brent with renslayer i thought yeah. she was just kind of there yeah if she wasn't in the season i don't think she would have been missed well, she didn't really do anything. She exactly. kind of just had that one episode in like 1830 something and then we didn't really see her again. Like it felt like one of those things where they had her signed on for another year but didn't write her in the story but they were like, "Oh, yeah. Where do we where do where do we put this character?" Mm -hmm. Cuz like I feel like <laughs> yeah, I mean, if anything, you could have just kind of made her join the merry band, I guess, but like I guess it didn't really make sense to do that either. So it's yeah. like, what do you do? I don't know. I I do like that Sylvie is the one that ended up pruning her at the like, when she did get pruned. But like, I don't know. It, they could have just done more with her. I wish she was either more evil or more redeemable or just did more in general. But yeah. Oh, well. Or maybe if they like left her in the past or something, and then she like came back. I don't know. Like yeah. I don't. Know. There were options there, and I feel like they didn't really. Not that it was essential to the story overall, because you know, obviously not really. But mm -hmm. hmm. yeah, it, but but yeah, the ending was fantastic. The Great music, ending. glorious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <yeah>. well, <laughs> it just it was just a very. Very good, good, good thing. So, yeah, yeah, it was really good. Uh, number four, number four. So my number four is Guardians Three. Oh, number four. Okay. Yeah, I know, wow. I know, I know. Yeah, I mean, all the stuff in the top four is really good. Oh, I mean, we're, okay. We're, yeah, let's, that's fair. let's be really, let's yeah. be real. But yeah, I mean, it's great stuff. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean <laughs> Not that we were surprised, but like, yeah, no, I mean, it's the third Guardians movie. It is, it is equally as heartwarming as a serious as 
randomly funny at times. Like, it's a really good one. I like the characters are great. I think Nebula, out of all the characters, had probably the biggest, like, it just, I guess, improvement of character enjoyment, if that's a metric, yeah. I guess. But, yeah, like, I, I really like her character a lot more in this movie than any other thing she's been in, which, mm -hmm. you know, it's gradually gone up, especially in, like, the Avenger movies. But it was like, wow, I really... Yeah, this character is great in this movie. I don't really appreciate yeah. that. And again, yeah. just like with Blue Beetle, the stakes were way smaller, but because of that, they felt enormous. Because, yeah, yeah in, in Guardians 2, if they don't kill Ego, pretty much every planet will get eaten by a big blue bomb. Blob. Like, yeah. oh yeah, the Guardians will fix that. Like, I don't really need to worry about that. It's not even brought up ever again as a thing that even happened. Um, <laughs> just so random. Yeah. But in this movie, if they lose, they lose That's one it. friend. One friend. That's it. Like, yeah. Like, Rocket dying would be a big deal to this group of people, but like, the universe he, would survive. He's not really hurting anybody that he hasn't created in the first place. <laughs> like. <laughs> So, realistically, there's no reason to stop him outside of he hurt my friend, so I'm going to go punch him in the face. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's enough for these people. Which, and I love that. Which is such a Guardians thing, though. I feel like that's exactly what they're all about. Like, yeah. they're not like, yeah, they're heroes, but they're more about a. Hey, that's not cool, bro. Uh, <laughs> like, exactly. kind of thing. Like, it's 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 like one of those things that started. It started out as just. Hey man, you need to apologize for my buddy for spilling his drink. Up until we're th you know we're throwing haymakers <laughs> over this at this point. Like it's gotten much bigger for basically no reason. But yeah, yeah the the action sequences are all really good. The music choices mm -hmm. are all the phenomenal. Are uh, I do wish Adam Warlock had a little more to do. It kind yeah, of feels like he was only in it out of obligation. Like, yes, which is weird because like, he because. James got to set him up in his own after credit scene in Guardians 2, yet he didn't really give him anything to do in this movie. I mean, it feels like maybe it's been so much time since Guardians 2, it's kind of like, yeah, originally this was going to be bigger, but it's kind of like, eh, at this yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I still yeah. think his place was fine enough in the movie. Yeah, he was cool. And he still could show up in future things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, the new Guardians, I guess, yeah. going forward. Mm. Yeah, it is a very... Very good movie. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really good. I think that it, how do you, the, the one thing I'm still kind of, the the Gamora thing still kind of bugs me a little bit because, like, I know, like, the whole Infinity War thing kind of puts you in a certain spot with Gamora mm -hmm. as a character, but it's like, <sighs> She, I know, like, they were trying to make it work, but it, she just didn't feel like it worked. I don't know, at least I, not for I me. I think they left, they left her at a kind of perfect place. Like, okay, essentially, you know, the movie started with, with Quill, you know, being drunk, just thinking about her. Like, yeah, you know, the whole Christmas special, that cheered him up, but that doesn't last forever. It's like, what he really needed was closure. And... After seeing her, he spent this entire movie trying to rekindle a, a relationship that isn't there. Like, like he just, like this is a different person. Like, and like he's trying to to do the same things with her, but she's just not receptive. I and mm -hmm. by the end, yeah, they're not they're not together, but they still went on this adventure together. They still like, she still had that moment of like. You know, we were probably fun. It's like, and he was like, we were. And they just go their separate ways. Like, that's, mm -hmm. he had that last final conversation with her. He's He's been like, okay, like, I can move on now. And I think with what James Gunn was handed, I think that's about as good as you could have done. Because I think bring I think bringing her back onto the team permanently and having them fall in love again, that would have felt cheap. Because I feel like, I feel like that would have been the, the lazy thing to do is just, oh, the same thing that I did last time will work this time when, like, that doesn't, I don't know, I feel like this is a different person at this point. 
So I like how they did it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's one of the, I mean, maybe I just don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I mean, it works in a certain way, again, with how it's set up. I just, I guess I, maybe I just missed the older more. That's why that's I, maybe I'm just yeah. sad. I just haven't got over her death yet. I do like how she's a little more brutal in this movie. Like her, her like, yeah. Nebula is the tame one compared to her. <laughs> Which is wild. It just kind of shows their, like, you know, progression because nebula's kind of come a long way which kind of we talked about so like yeah it's pretty cool yeah yeah it's a solid movie i'll talk about it more later uh my number four is scott pilgrim takes off Mm. you haven't seen this at all right i have not okay but i had a feeling you did (laughs) i'm i'm not gonna mention i'm not gonna like talk about it pretty much at all because it essentially what everyone thought this was going to be was a one-to-one remake of the movie in anime form. Mm -hmm. And the first episode largely is that until there's one specific point where it, where something changes and the entire show is completely different. And I will say nothing more about that. (laughs) Okay. Um, Yeah. But more generally, the animation, phenomenal, the music, great, the characterization of the characters you already know, voiced by voiced by who they are in the movie, but they're doing very different things. Like, it's done very well. Um, I was especially impressed by Chris Evans. I thought, like, he hasn't done any voiceover work, as far as I can tell, like, his entire career. And I thought he did a very good job as Lucas Lee in this. Um like you might not necessarily agree with every choice they make that that is different, but like, mm-hmm. but I very very highly recommend you you watch this without like, going in as blind as you can. It is just not knowing it. Yeah, okay, it's a wild yeah. ride. That's on Netflix, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and for all the people who are like, oh, why didn't they do it the exact way the movie did? Because the movie already did it perfectly, so why bother? Like, <laughs> like the movie's already there. Watch the movie. The movie is great. This is also great, and it is doing its own thing. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. What number are we on? Three? Three? Two? Yeah, three. Three? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, three at a time. Yeah. My three is Loki, so I know we talked about some more. But yeah, I mean, I think the one of the things I really loved about this show was that, like, even though this was the second season, we kind of felt like it wasn't as like you know how in the first season every episode you're like, what is going on? Yeah, like. This season, it wasn't as much that, but it was okay because <clears throat> even though you're supposed to know more, there's just enough you don't know yet. And that gets you to the next episode, and it kind of goes through here. And I really like how even though we spend – I feel like we spend more time – like less time traveling and more time just at the TVA figuring out how to not basically, you know, lose time, essentially. Mm-hmm. I do like how Loki especially – I, don't, I love that scene where he's like basically going back in time a million times and learning yeah. everything and has to learn what was it a hundred a thousand years of quantum time physics or something yeah. in like a moment or something and he's like yes we gotta do this da, da, da. nope you don't do this don't forget this latch don't drop it you'll fall <laughs> off and they're all like and you're just that and you're like oh. if that had have, have you had have seen that roll off after all that, that would have been the saddest but funniest thing mm-hmm. ever. And it's pretty cool because he's yeah, he's pretty much doing oh, because we were watching uh, Edge, of t- Edge of Tomorrow. Yes, yeah, we were watching that movie the other day, and I was like, this is what this is what that like because it was reminding me, and I was like, oh, they're doing the thing. Obviously, look, I'm pretty sure that movie came out well oh, before. Wh- like, like yeah, ten years like the ago. concept <laughs> is obviously yeah, but it was like oh, this is why that feels so familiar because that's exactly what Logo doing. But I thought that was really cool. I really, um, li- I also really like the scene where kind of the same idea where he's doing it with Kang, and Kang's like, "How long have we been doing this?" Like, because he, like he's just like, "Yeah, this is this is mm-hmm. clearly not working, right? Like, this is this is where this goes bad. She kills me anyway. Bada bada bada. You're trying to stop her, blah, blah. which again, great work by Jonathan 
Commanders. But yeah, yeah, just a really good show. And again, like I think it really helped because like the other shows were just, oh man, is this show gonna be okay? And the show's like, yeah, we're doing great. Owen Wilson is. It's just like, you there? I love that scene where he's just like, oh, did you lose me? I, We're back. Maybe? Here we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. Cool. okay. Wait. Wait. Did it go again? No. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Well, so. Hey, hey, second. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Hang on. Hang on. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Oh, he froze again. Maybe? Yes? Maybe? Hello? Oh, no. Your screen is frozen, but I can hear you. How are you doing? You can hear me. I can hear. I can see you now. We're good. Wait. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think okay. it says... Do you have a little poor connection thing on your I, thing? I did, but it's gone now. Okay, mine's still. Oh, it just went away. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, quickly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Owen Wilson does a great. Yeah, <laughs> Owen Wilson does a great job. I liked the last like, the scene where it was like his real life or whatever was really interesting. It was like oh, yeah. a very basic life, but I thought it was really cool that like Mobius just like you know we just like, the jet ski thing was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just it was a really good show. I'm excited for it. I I'm really interested to see where Loki in general goes from here because I'm like, does he kind of just become the ruler of the like multiverse or like or not the multiverse, but like of time or something, or how that works, or will he intersect with new things going forward? But yeah. like one of those things where it's like, man, if Thor and Loki could see each other now, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Like mm. I'd be very happy if this is how Loki, the character, ends up. But I feel he is in a place where if he did want to, you know, pop back in during Secret Secret Wars or whatever, he probably yeah. could. Um, but, like, if he doesn't, I wouldn't be too broke up about it. Like, I think he ended in a very, very good place. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, but especially with, you know, Tom Hilson has been doing this for a while, too. So it's like, this definitely could be his send up if he wants it, but mm. yeah. we'll see. Okay. Um, my number three, which I assume is your number two, Invincible Season 2. Part that one. is correct. Yeah. Uh, man. <laughs> it's good. Dude. It's great. Like, mm. I just, yeah, I mean, God, yeah, yeah I'll, like, you know, I, I, start, yeah. I, I really like Mark a lot in this season. Uh, like, every character I liked last season, I liked even more. Every character I, I, I didn't like as much, I, I, I like even more. I thought Debbie's story, that's running parallel to Mark's, was is mm-hmm. intense, but very good. Um, just I love in episode four the imagery where uh, where Omni Man is drifting through space and like he's about to fall into that black hole, and then whatever happens, and then you know later he cuts to Debbie walking, framed very similarly to Omni Man. She's like standing on that bridge, like she could jump, she doesn't, but like she that's that imagery is so so good. Um, uh. Yeah, like ev- everything was up to four was just phenomenal. Like the fight choreography, great. Um, <laughs> Elite. Yeah, Omni Man having that realization of like, like, yeah, you know, like I've been doing this for you know, however long. Like this is not you know not my first rodeo, but this time I feel like I feel something. Like what? How is it? Why is this happening? Like I I like that a lot. Um, I really like how they left things to, you know, for four part two of this season. That's, you know, I think uh, next Thursday. Um, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, like... <laughs> it'll, it'll show up near the top of your next year's list too. Probably. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And again, it's 
so because again like obviously we love superheroes but like dude this show does it so like the voice acting is unreal like every person just feels real their line reads feel epic like you can feel the pain you can feel every line. like it's just so well done it's fun it's interesting like all the character motivations seem legit like how do you go on after your like i mean like debbie's story so tragic because it's just like what do you do Right. When your your husband of twenty years and the father of your child was basically space like a space like I, terrorist, I don't even know what the yeah. word is for it. Like I don't like I don't, there's no word for that. Just the worst, and just killed all the heroes and just left. Mm -hmm. And you're just like cope with that what yep. do you do with like that? You're the, I mean, the that's group crazy. specifically created to support people who are in this situation doesn't want you like <laughs> yes like the very like that was so heartbreaking because like, like oh, you're my only people from not jumping off said bridge and then you're like no but like then again i don't totally blame them because yeah. like they like it's like it's one of those things where it's like if that was me and my significant other was killed by Omni Man, I probably also wouldn't feel I would feel a certain way about Debbie. Yeah. Also, it's not yeah. her fault at all, but still, like emotions are weird that you're not rational with them, so it makes sense that they don't like her. And like it's a whole thing. It's crazy. Uh -huh. It's so emotional. And like that's just everything, like the everything Mark's going through, like trying to get back into it because he feels like he has this responsibility to be a hero because he can't just quit. Because what if his dad does come back or something mm -hmm. worse? Like, what's the earth gonna do? I need to be a hero, I need to save you, I need to get better. So what happens never happens again. Like I'm different from my father. I may have his powers, but I am a much better person. I don't quit on people, even the ones I don't know. I will go to a distant planet to save a bunch of bug people, because why not? Mm -hmm. And then, bro, <laughs> this Omni-Man, dude, are you serious, bro? This man just picked up after drifted away and was just like, you know what? I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to just make another kid. And he did. And I'm like, bro, have you no shame? Like, I, it, dude, it's like, yeah. I, I ain't going to lie. I saw that. I was like, nah, I'm out. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, let me suffocate in space. I'm gone. Like, that's mm. ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, it's, I, I, I kind of hope that baby's okay. <laughs> like, I mean... <laughs> Like, again, you can't, like, you can't be mad at the baby or at the mom or the people, really, but, like, you also feel some type of way that they exist, because you're mm -hmm. just like, bro, you just replaced us after all that? Like, nothing? For, yep. You know, no offense, but for bug people? Like, come on, <laughs> man. Like, that's messed up. Uh... Like, man, I just... And then the other villager might show up, and man, those fights were something fierce, man. Like, that was... <sighs> the show's so good, bro. I'm so excited, because now it's like the whole, all right, Mark, here's what we're going to do. Either you're going to enslave him, or I'm going to, or we're going to enslave him, man. If we do it, it's going to be way worse <laughs> than if you do it. So, like, now it's like, if you're Mark, what do you do? There's no like there's no amount of training for any of the other guardians or anybody to be on this level. It's literally just you. Mm -hmm. Cuz there's nothing robot or monster girl or all these people they are going to get instantly bodied as we've seen in right. many other you know what you do so, like, is what do you do? You very publicly kill a couple of duplicate clones and hope that sends the right message. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but even still, like... At least you wouldn't kill any, like, any actual person. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's no good way to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because it's like... I mean, there's, like... You can't... Because it's not like they won't, like... It's not like they won't know. You can't, like, pretend to subjugate the planet, right? Like... Yeah. Like, I don't know. 
Like, I don't know. Cause now I'm just like, if I'm Mark, maybe I just do it. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. For, I'm talking to season. I'm like, bro, listen, we go, we got to pack, we got to pack our stuff and we got to find a new find planet a new plan, or absolutely. something. <laughs> cause like, I mean, cause I mean, like we're done, like we're done. Cause like we got an army of suit, like we got an army, of, like two of these, like Omni-Man by himself could have taken the whole planet if he felt like it. Yeah. And like, granted he's good, but like <laughs> if, we, if they send three, it's over. They're yep. going to send more than three. You know what I mean? Like it's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> It's, oh man, I don't know what Mark's going to do. I don't know how it's going to work out. Maybe they're going to have to just find a new world. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. But yeah, I don't know. But man, this show is so good. Yes. And there's, I talked like all about that. Please talk. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's more to come soon and it's hopefully going to be just as good. So, oh yeah. Keep on it. Um, yeah. My number two is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Makes sense. Man, this might be the best Marvel movie. It is really good. <laughs> it's really good. Like, it is really like, good. My roommate and I, we, we recently binge-watched all three of these movies, and James Gunn is a wizard. I don't know, like... <laughs> like... Like... Just the fact that I... I didn't know who these any of these characters were at all before 2014. I didn't even really care about these characters much after watching the first movie. Like I liked the movie fine enough, but I didn't like really care about them like like as a characters like that. I kind of like I got like I liked them a lot more after the second one. But man, after like after watching them back to back to back just I am legitimately sad that this group of people was not going to, you know, not going to con- continue like continue like that. I genuinely sad that James Gunn isn't making more of these movies, but I am super excited for 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 a, for <laughs> super, for a Superman movie like that is I have no absolutely no reservation that movie's going to be great. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I'm all for it. Yeah. Um yeah, like they said, the action scenes are all really, really good. The character dynamics are all fantastic. Uh, just the the fact that this shouldn't be really even be a positive, but the fact that uh, so much of the of what you saw was like actual physical sets and not CG. Like it was a lot of it was practical. Like everything with the high evolutionary was all practical effects. Mm-hmm. Like that, like flesh room, whatever that weird thing. Like that, that's all. Like most of that was all like a, a set. Like that's that's crazy. <laughs> it, it it just looked really good. Um. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's a it's a very very good movie. <laughs> I mean, I what know. more can you say, right? It's... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so before we get to our number one, which I assume is the same thing, considering we haven't talked about it yet, um, before we get there, I want to just go ahead and establish what do we think was the worst superhero thing to come out this year? Because I'm pretty sure it's obviously between two things. <laughs> I, I feel like it's pretty obviously be- between Secret Evasion and The Flash, right? Yeah, I mean, my first thought is Secret Invasion just because, like, yeah. But I mean, like, The Flash also is not great, but, like, no, like the, hang like, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Time out, time out, time out. After watching it a second time and watching a couple, like, video essays and, like, just having more thoughts on it, saying The Flash isn't great is a big understatement. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is kind of offensively bad. Like, <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, offensively bad. Yes. yes. The fact that the climax has that big dome 
domes of different universes crashing together where they had AI art of, of Adam West and CG renditions of Christopher Reeves and uh, like, you know, like uh, just a bunch of like other random Batman and Superman actors who are dead doing stuff like just who asked for this? <laughs> no one was like, oh, this is cool. Like, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you think this was a good idea to put in your Flash movie? <laughs> and, like, I mean, obviously they're trying to, like, force pander people, but it didn't work. And, like... Yeah, it did. <laughs> like, you're watching a Flash movie and you really think people are going to freak out over seeing a bunch of Batman and Superman? Like, sure, right? Michael Keaton's one thing because he's actually in the movie. But, like... Right. But we're watching a Flash movie. All I want is for him to be fighting a Flash villain at any point throughout the entire movie, and that doesn't happen. The entire movie. <laughs> he never fights Reverse Flash. We got not Captain Cold, Gorilla Grodd, Captain Boomerang, <laughs> Mirror Master. I mean, the fact like... that you have a Flashpoint movie without Reverse Flash already right? is like, you did it wrong. But <laughs> like, he has one of the most extensive rogue galleries of all of DC Comics, and you didn't fight any of them? They weren't even mentioned in the entire movie? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yet there are two Flashes, very annoying Flashes. <laughs> Which is so weird, because, like, why would you do that? That doesn't even make sense by your own rule. Like, that doesn't even, that, that makes no <laughs> sense. Like, that breaks Flashpoint's rules. That breaks, yeah. like, there was no reason. To, like, even if you made him, like, a somehow reverse Flash by still being another version of Barry reverse Flash, I don't know. Like, yeah. it doesn't work. It but, just, like, I don't know. Like, like, it doesn't work. They're really trying to make it work. Yeah, and also no, because this is trying to be a Flash origin movie and also Flashpoint, you got to have a scene where he gets his powers, but also explain how he loses his powers, but then also have him get his powers Which back was... again. <laughs> Which made no sense how he lost him in the first no, place. No, didn't even bother explaining. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's like, oh, I just don't have them. Why? So bad. Like for reasons, yeah. but like, it, like it would have been like it, they could have just both had their powers. It's okay. Like I don't even yeah, though I don't, both of them, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, However, Secret no. Evasion is also really not good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> see, when I look at the Flash, it's like, wow, you did this wrong. This is what a Flashpoint movie should have done. This is how you could have done it better. Change this and that. With Secret of Asia, I'm just like, all right, you start by taking everything you did and not doing that. And then, <laughs> like, you know, it's like... I think I think my number one biggest issue with Secret of Asia is, kind of going off you, what you said, I never had any hopes at all for The Flash. Like, the first trailer looked, looked good, but just because those are all the good por por parts of the movie. Like, oh yeah, I was excited for Michael Keaton because I'm, I like Michael Keaton. But I knew... Yeah. It wasn't going to be a Flash movie, so like I wasn't excited for a Flash movie. I was excited to see Michael Keaton again. So I wasn't ex really excited for the Flash movie, and at no point was I ever even even get the whiff of it being half decent. Secret Evasion, <laughs> the first like two and a half episodes, I was like, this could be something. This right. I like some of the scenarios to bring up. I like some of the ideas. Olivia Coleman's British. Uh, you know, lady agent person. Like, I, I liked her. I liked her interrogation of that one dude where she cut off his finger. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. I, like there, there are, there are certain things about this that I that I kind of almost liked. And then episode three ends, and I'm like, oh no. And then four, five, it just gets progressively precipitously worse to like <laughs> by the end of it I'm like wow literally every single decision I would have made or every single decision they made I would have made the opposite decision <laughs> 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 and then at the end it's like oh yeah even though Nick Fury literally left the planet in a worse place than when he got here I'm just going to go back into space like okay right sure <laughs> And then just not address anything ever again. Yep. Like, I don't know. Just... Nothing about this movie, this show mattered at all for the Marvels. Like, it no. didn't... Like, 
Like you, which had scrolls in it. <laughs> yep. And the end of in that movie even had even had Valkyrie taking scrolls back to Earth when the president made it very clear that he wasn't going to allow any more aliens on Earth. So literally, right. this show doesn't exist. <laughs> it's not canon. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where they didn't know what was going to end up releasing first, or so. I don't know. But I don't, I was just like, no, but they. I mean, they could have done that in voiceover because they mentioned the whole Cree uh, uh, peace peace summit that that Carol oh, ruined. But true, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I don't get it now. Yeah, other than that worse. one no. line, nothing connected. <laughs> Yeah, like, and that one line made it kind of worse. Yeah, like, graphic <laughs> wasn't a very great villain. I didn't like how they handled the super scroll and then the super duper scroll. Um, <laughs> not, why? Not the super duper I mean, scroll two level. Like, like how they handled I, War Machine was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> it's like, is he a scroll? I don't know. Like, come on, guys. Like, let's. Yeah, just, like, ugh. I still think Flash is worse. I still genuinely think that that, that Flash is the fair. worst product. But I think Secret Invasion is an overall more disappointing, it more disappointing thing because a it's longer, so there's more time to be disappointed by it. But also, mm. I just <laughs> generally put Marvel at a higher tier of like of general excitement than I did than I did for the flash. Like I wasn't over the moon like this is gonna be the most the best thing to ever come out this year, but like I was at least like interested in the idea of a secret invasion. But Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah. just not great. I mean it's <sighs> I don't, you know, it's just not like sometimes you miss and then sometimes you play the wrong game. Like, you know, it's just like, that's just bad. I don't yeah. Know. But, but also, I guess you got to give Flash some credit technically in the fact that, like, that movie has been in development hell for like eight years now. True. So this really is like a Frankenstein mess of a movie. Like, you know, so many different people have laid eyes and tried to, to 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 work on this movie. So, whereas as far as I know, there was only ever one director and like one set of writers, and like it was all under the like one, you know, like there was weren't any production issues for Secret Evasion. So, I guess it has that going for it, but. Still, the product they released is not good, so I still have to give it to the Flash personally. But Secret Evasion is really close. That's fair. <laughs> Both are dreadful. I mean, that's what really yeah. matters. Yeah. Well, it's not dreadful. It's number one across the Spider Verse. Oh my goodness, that movie is perfect. <laughs> I mean, what is there really else to say? I yeah, mean, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyone who's who has any complaints, like, oh, it's just half a movie. There's like no. <laughs> How was that point when that was by design? Right? Like, not only is that by design, also within the movie itself, there are character arcs that had completion. Like it's yeah. just, like Gwen Stacy's or yeah, yeah, uh yeah, Spider Gwen's whole arc with her dad, that had a beginning Actually middle Captain and end. Stacy was tired. <laughs> actual Captain Stacy, yeah. <laughs> that had a beginning, middle, and end. Um yeah, like it's it's not uncommon for movies that are two parters to end on a cliffhanger. Do I think the exact point they ended on was a little weird? Maybe like the exact point, sure. Like I feel like I mean, them ending on Miles like like rubbing the rubbing the the rope was a little like a little too far into the action to like to to leave to leave you on but but that's the nitpick i don't like, yeah i mean that's i mean it's at the time of the reveal which is probably the exact moment i would probably cut it but i mean close enough yeah but like the music of that scene is so god tier i didn't care like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just 
so it's such a fun ride like just like mm -hmm. watching this movie the different setting like how the art style just changes drastically depending on where you are but they're all so cool so vibrant like just <sighs> the, all like the character interactions the animations s tier obviously i mean it's it's funny it's relatable yep. there's like real i mean they, like you said there's real rising and falling action like you know people have arcs the characters all come back for the most part there's a billion spider people because mm -hmm. of course you know the new ones introduced are great i mean it's really good i love you know hobie's great miguel's an awesome like not like antagonist but kind of helping kind of thing like it's a whole thing it's great i just yeah <clears throat> it's a movie i could just watch at any point all the time and mm -hmm. never get tired of it i feel like yeah and i have absolutely no reason to think that beyond won't be even better <laughs> no at least i mean good. like there's no way it'll ruin no. this movie right <laughs> no i mean like it's gonna be amazing of course. Mm. The first two are both S tier. This one, the next one's going to be S tier. It's going to be an S tier trilogy, which is like super rare and yeah. really awesome. But, exactly. oh man. Yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, there's the soundtrack, perfect. The animation's perfect. The voice acting's great. Like, I, everything, the action scenes are really good. Like, it follows up great right from the last one, but it's still its own movie perfectly. I mean, it's. I mean, what do you want to say? Like, <laughs> I mean, what is there to say? I mean, yeah, it's it's really really good. <laughs> really I mean, good. if you don't like it, you don't like comic book stuff. I mean, that's just it. Pretty much that that that's a yeah. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just I mean, like, but just straight up, like, you can't mm -hmm. like. You don't even have to like Spider-Man specifically. You just have to like, like, yeah, superheroes are pretty cool. Oh, I love this movie. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anything else you want to say about any of these movies or just the year in general? I mean, it was a year of, for the most part, higher expectations than what was delivered, but Next year has low expectations, so I'm expecting higher delivery. So there we go. Yeah, that's the way to put it. <laughs> like the one thing I had the highest expectations for met. Like I had, we both had across the Spider Verse as our number one most anticipated thing of the year, and it met that. <laughs> it did not disappoint at all. No, and I, like the highest stuff generally did because I mean even like not like you know Zelda was as advertised. Yeah, like, Zelda was really was really good. I had Invincible really high. I had Guardians really high. Loki, yeah, you know, really, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's like the middle tier stuff that kind of like, yeah. oh, like, I was expecting more from like that. I wasn't oh. expecting much from Shazam, so I, well, no, I wasn't I, broken I, up no. for the fact that it's not very good. <laughs> no, but I mean, but then you see stuff and you're like, oh, I thought that might have been better, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, well. But, oh, well. but yeah. Let us know down below what uh, you know. What are some of your favorite things? Do you disagree with any of our of our of our picks? Do you actually like the Flash somehow? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let let us know all that down below. And with that, we will see you all the next year. Take care. <laughs>